Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my June book wrap up. Super excited to film this. We are officially like halfway done with the year. I've already accomplished my reading goal um, in this month. So that's super exciting. I'm not sure how many books I have, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. First off, the first three books I read was actually the last three books in the Throne of Glass series. I read Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and then Kingdom of Ash. I actually tandem read um, Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn and I 100% recommend it if you guys are interested in reading the Throne of Glass series. And then obviously Kingdom of Ash, nearly a thousand pages and it was so good. I actually have a reading vlog um, about this series so I'll put that up there if I remember but if not you guys can just look at the rest of my channel. I did rate all of those five stars and I just loved them so much. I thought they were great um, books and I 100% recommend it. I made this statement where I was like, I may like Throne of Glass more than I like Akatar. I know, I don't know if I 100% believe that, but it's really, it's really good. The next book I read in June was The Last Mrs. Parrish. I felt like I hadn't read a thriller in a while, so I decided to pick this one up. It also fit like summery vibes, at least that's how I felt. I actually ended up reading this one five stars as well because I loved it so much. I love the plot twists, the stories, the dual point of view. Um, it was great. It was a great uh, little thriller mystery vibe and it also is a perfect thriller for summer. I read a cutesy little romance and that's The Summer of Broken Rules. Obviously this is a perfect summer book. It's just like so sweet. There's a little like f family grief in here or sibling loss if you want content warnings but gosh this story the soulmate love of it was so cute and I love I love the ending um on how they ended up working it out but yeah this one's super fun it kind of reminds me of like the summer I turned pretty just because it's like they all go to Martha's Vineyard and they hang out for the summer and there's romance there and it's just super cute and just strong family ties but also like competition with a an assassin game with water guns and yeah anyways i 100 percent recommend this i rated it five stars and i read my colleen hoover book of the month which was regretting you i ended up rating this five stars as well guys i rate my books five stars if i like them i'm sorry but this one was especially good because it was a little bit different than her other books since this one was kind of focused on a mother and daughter relationship instead of I mean, there was romance in it, but I feel like the mother and daughter relationship was most important. And obviously, Colleen Hoover's twist of like, I I don't want to say anything that's going to spoil it. I'm just going to say this book is really good and I would recommend it if you're on the fence whether or not to read this one, read it. Nonfiction book was Three Women by Lisa Taddeo. Tadeo. I rated this one four stars. I actually really liked it. It told the lives of three different women, kind of their stories. Um, one woman talked about sexual assault, the other talked about an affair, and then we, the third woman is like in an open marriage kind of situation. It's very interesting. I enjoy listening. I listened to it and read it, and both of those ways were perfect. I liked the audiobook because it had three different women voices, which I thought was cool, but yeah, I recommend this. I will say there's not much diversity in it it's all it's about three white women so I wish there was more diversity with that but oh well I read a classic this month and that was persuasion by Jane Austen I read this because I'm so excited for the movie adaptation to come out I love Dakota Johnson and so I just want to see how she takes the character Anne and puts her on the big screen but yeah I thought this book was really good I rated it five Jane Austen is my favorite um, classic literature author um i know that's very basic but i love her writing i thought it was beautiful and i love the settings and the angst and this was a second chance romance so if you're looking for an old timer second chance romance there you go now, i was loving this cover so much so i decided to pick it up so funny you should ask i rated this one four and a half stars i'm pretty sure i rated this one four and a half stars i thought it was so good if you like the seven husbands of evelyn hugo different definitely read this because it's kind of like a reporter and famous person and I liked the romance although I was questioning like do they really know each other if they only spent three days together I don't know but it's a book so I'm gonna eat it up and I'm gonna pretend that they definitely keep on dating after the epilogue yes, I did enjoy this book also the cover is adorable so read it just for that it's had a sneezing attack so I'm gonna at the very end just leave it in 
So if you want to watch that, watch all the rest of this video to see me sneezing a whole bunch. Okay, sneezing attack over. Okay, so the next book I read was Tools of Engagement. I recently got this at Barnes & Noble. I suck at taking stickers off, so I always have my friend Libby take them off. This one is still on. So yeah, I rated this one three and a half stars. I didn't know that this is actually a part of a series, and this is the last book in the series. I very much wish that I had been able to read the first two books before this one, but I might end up reading them because I really do like Tessa Bailey's writing. The reason I rated this three and a half stars is just because it, like, it wasn't my favorite romance. Nothing wrong with it. I would read it again and recommend it if you're interested in it, um, but I definitely prefer the Bellinger Sisters um, duology over the Hot and Hammered trilogy at least from the one book i read hey then i actually read the first five books of the addicted to you series i know guys i'm so excited i didn't mean to start the series it was just like randomly i was like i'm gonna read it and i read it because i saw on apple books that it was for 4.99 or something like that so what i read is i read addicted to you which is the first book in the addicted to you series and i read ricochet which is like 1.5 on the web Okay. Loved Ricochet. And then Addicted for Now is a third book. And then after you read the first three books in the Addicted series, then you go to the Calloway Sisters. So I read Kiss the Sky, which is about Rose, the older sister. And then I read Hot House Flower, which is about the youngest sister. So I got to read the first five books in the series, which means I only have five left, which is crazy. I might end up reading those in July, who knows, but I love the books so much. I rated them all five stars. I will say like the writing in the like first few books especially isn't like top tier writing, but the content, we're there for the content and the love and the addiction and I love it. I've just been reading it on my iPad, on my phone, wherever I can because I'm obsessed. Anyways guys, that is all the books I read this month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what I read. Sorry I so congested. It's all the sneezing. I don't know what's happening, but anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, record a TikTok so I can do a little June wrap up. But yeah, let me know what you guys read this month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye guys. <laughs> oh, another one. There's another one coming. I'm gonna seize.